which is a hadith narrated by the Prophet Muhammad in which he describes to us what Allah said to him. It says, on the authority of Abu Huraira, who said that the Messenger of Allah, Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, When Allah decreed the creation, he pledged for himself, to himself, by writing in his book, which is laid down with him, My mercy prevails over my wrath. And this hadith was narrated by Muslim and Abu Khair. Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. You know, each time I watch those uh, dummy uh, convert, who they call themselves convert, to Islam, I don't know what to say. It's very sad, but you know, in the West there is a lot of trash. If you have a brain, and I'm not insulting anyone, but the fact is a fact, because if you have a brain, this guy, he is able to read, you know. Uh, by the way, this is the same guy before he said that each time he go to the grocery store, and he have a miracle. What is that miracle? Uh, suddenly he stand in front of the cashier machine and he ask Allah for seven dollars and eleven cents. And each time, each time, Allah send him seven dollars and eleven cents. Yeah, that's what he said. So I'm not going to say he is mental or not, you judge. But in here, let us discuss the reason I'm, I'm playing his video. Because if we play it, if we say, uh, Muslims will say this is not true, it's not like that. You know, we just heard him saying, Allah, he have a book placed by himself for himself, made by himself for himself. Now, let us say, okay, Allah, he have such a book. Question, why? Why? If we go to the book, uh, Tafsir Ibn Kathir, not the English one, and let me show you how Muslims lie in the, tra in the, in the explanation of Ibn Kathir. This is explanation of Ibn Kathir in English. This is the verse, look. The whole explanation is not even two lines and a half. This is the this is the verse. You see it? If we go to the Arabic page in the official government website of Saudi Arabia, as you see, look how long it is. You see? All of this is gone. They make it only two lines and a half. Why? Because the story there is very stupid, very funny. According to Ibn Kathir in Arabic, it says that the book of Allah, which is written by his hand, exist between the eyes or in the forehead of Israfil, an angel, his name is Israfil. And Allah himself, actually it says in here, between his eyes, between his eyes. And Israfil, he is not allowed even to look at it. So why he put it there, supposedly to be like a guard, like you know this angel is a, is a guard dog, like oh, oh, if you try to get it close, hmm, no problem. And he's saying, that this book is made from uh, 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 white pearls and the pages is made from uh, uh, red rubies red rubies and written by a pen of light and each day have a 360 minute and thus in that time in that time and every day Allah he create he kill he raise from death he humiliate, he dishonor, or he honor the one he like. So, which mean this book is simply is uh, Allah uh, order or pizza orders. If Allah he say, okay, you know, Christian prince, you go and you became, you die. Okay, he is going to write in his book. Mm -hmm. Now, why? You know, let us say the Muslims are smart and we are a bunch of dummies. Why Allah he wanted that to happen? I'm not asking you why he want to kill me. I understand he wish he wished to kill me, but it's very clear he cannot until now. Uh, the question is why he have a book? Why God he need a book to be written by himself for himself? Now, if we ask ourselves why we write books, why we write books? You know, when, when uh, you, you will see in here, they are using the tablets, you know. It, it, when God, he gave Moses the tablets, he gave it to Moses, not for himself. Which means he wanted to be for people to read it. This is why, what, this is the reason to be, uh, you know, to, to write things. So they can go through generation or you can transform the information. And you keep them uh, 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 exist for longer or even forever. But when God saying he is God, do he need to write down anything for himself? When I write down phone numbers for myself, 
well because simply I am a human being I have a short memory I will forget I cannot remember all the phone numbers when I write a book there's another reason maybe I want to give it to other generations because you know what I'm not eternal I will die this is why I'm writing a book so other people after maybe 300 years from now still they can read what I want to say but what is the case about God why he is writing a book for himself and as you see nobody can get close to it and nobody can read it it's guarded book guarded above in the sky and it is written there he wrote there what we, whatever is going to happen to everyone which means he is the one who decide if you want to be a Muslim or not if you want to be a Christian or not if you will be a criminal or not if you will be a good guy or not if you will be a male or a female that's what the Muslim says so this is what it's called destiny but still we need to know how stupid this idea is to say that Allah he wrote a book for himself do Allah have a problem with memories do Allah need books let me ask you a question let us say Allah he want to know about me or you know he is going to open his book to see about me or he knew already if he knew already any time any minute any second what the need of the book I hope you guys you are getting the idea if Allah he want to know about you do he have to go to his book if a Muslim will say no no he do not need to have to go by book say then why he wrote this book for himself he wrote it to read it or not to read it if he is not going to read it so what the benefit this is how we can prove that Islam is a stupid religion and if you look at the description like this book is written by white pearls and red rubies and a pin of light and if you guys if you if you see that, that how, how big is the, this book read with me this is in English now this is a Jalalain the distance it is the height as distance between the earth and the heaven here we go imagine how high this book why what's wrong with, with, with Allah is that because he have he need the big letters or because he have a you know his his vision is not good uh, I heard in uh, in some countries in militia they they made the whole Quran written in one uh, uh, piece of uh, basket the whole book of the Quran so how come Allah he needs so huge book like that it's, this is extremely big look it's the height as a distance between the earth and the heaven and wide as a distance between the east and the west and if we uh, 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 remember that this book is exists between the eyes of the angel Israfil this is mean how big the face of this angel but still no problem this is not the issue it's not about how big it is it's not about how small it is it's about how stupid the idea is to say to me that Allah he wrote a book by himself for himself to read it himself your God then he cannot be God because he cannot remember about me unless he go to his book and then from his book he will find my maybe uh, social security number a Christian Prince Christian Prince Christian Prince Christian Prince man there's a lot of Christian Prince <laughs> open pages open pages and then maybe he will find me because do you know how many human exist every human his name is written in the book actually uh, Muhammad he is taking stories from the Bible you know uh, uh, you know Muhammad uh, or the one who made the book of the uh, Islam the Waraq of the Nawfal he is taking things from our Christian book and he's trying to make it as something illiterate something you know like a real book like you know uh, I, I can say my God he written my name in the book of life but does that mean there is really a book of life is that mean really we have a book it's called the book of life and it is in the hand of God and it is have papers and pages this is a metaphor meaning but in here Muslims cannot play games with us and say this is a metaphor this is a real book this is a real book it's a preserved and have pages made of material as you see so Muslims cannot play games with us and say this is not a real book follow with me and Christ is Lord Muslims when they believe in this book they have to be a bunch of dummies I mean